bro let's shoot the film i was talking about yeah that story is amazing but let's shoot it some other day what's the problem actually i don't think so i have that good camera right now and if i'm going to rent all these equipments it's going to cost me a bomb we have been told that film making is expensive if your budget is stopping you from making films then this video is definitely for you Hello to all the creatives out there. My name is Romil and today we'll talk about how can you shoot your films in a better way by using your existing camera. What camera should I buy? This is the first question that everyone who is starting filmmaking or photography has. I also had the same question. But with time I realized that it is the method rather than the equipment. If you think that you only get that cinematic look by buying expensive camera, then this video will surely change the way you think. Let's talk about four tips you should keep in mind while shooting a film which also fits your budget. The first point is lenses. Wait, wait, don't panic. I'm not going to talk about any expensive lenses here. Getting the right lens is very important to get that cinematic look. Basically, all we require is shallow depth of field for a good cinematic look. Higher the aperture will give you more depth of field. Any lens ranging from an aperture of f 1.4 to f 2.8 can give you a good depth of field. So, investing on good prime lenses is the key to achieve that film look. The best prime lens for a starter would be the 50mm f 1.8. This is the cheapest prime lens that you can get and it costs you anywhere around $59 to $130. Let's compare the video which was shot with two different lenses. This video was shot with 24-105 mm Canon lens with an aperture of f 4.2, and this was shot with a 50 mm lens with an aperture of f 1.8. You can clearly see that we are getting an amazing depth of field with the 50 mm lens. We can even see some bokeh in the background. whereas on the other lens we don't see as good depth of field as we see on the 50 mm so this is how a good prime lens can totally change the look of your film the next point is lighting lighting can do wonders to your film it can make your video look professional even if you're shooting with a very basic camera and bad lighting can make your video look amateur even if you're shooting with one of the best cameras I shot this video with a Nikon D5300 which is not a professional camera. We all are aware of the term called golden hour and we love to shoot during these hours. But practically it's not possible to shoot only during these times. So how do we shoot on hard light? The answer is ND filters. ND filters which is the short form of natural density filters helps you to control the amount of light entering into the camera sensor. This can help you to keep a higher aperture in the hard light. Also, we don't need to keep our shutter speed higher, which looks very bad as it results in unnatural choppy footage. While shooting this video, I wanted to keep my aperture at f 1.4, but the hard sunlight won't allow me to do so, and therefore I was not happy with the result. Whereas with the ND filter. I could easily keep higher apertures which helps me to achieve that cinematic look even in the hard sunlight. The next best thing you can use while shooting your film is reflector. Reflectors help you to generate a key light while bouncing the sunlight. It helps you to diffuse lights and also to create shadows. This is how we created a key light by bouncing the sunlight using a reflector. and this is how it looks without the reflector talking about the budget a decent nd filter will cost you around $20 to $35 and a basic reflector will cost you somewhere around $10 to $30 the next point is stabilization stability in film is very important to minimize distraction and to give you that smooth cinematic look there are certain hacks for stabilization and you can also stabilize your footage in the post but still there are lots of limitation to it 
Let me show you an example. I want a simple follow shot of this girl walking. I tried taking it handheld. This is how bad it looks. Now let me stabilize it. Still not up to the mark, right? Now let's shoot this with a gimbal. See the difference. This looks so smooth. Now I know you will tell gimbals are expensive. So here is the alternative that you can use. Glide cam. Glide cams are manual stabilizer that uses camera weight to stabilize your footage. There is no battery, no motors. It's completely mechanical, but the results that it gives is outstanding. And if you are low on budget, this is definitely for you. A basic glide cam can cost you anywhere around $40. The next point is color. A good color correction gives life to your footage. You can simply use different LUTs and color wheels to play around with your footage. Identify the mood of your video and never ever ever overdo the colors. Now here is a bonus tip for you. I am sure till now you would have definitely created a good cinematic look. One small hack to give a good cinematic look is to add cinematic bars. You can do it by adding an adjustment layer and cropping the top and the bottom of the layer to your desired look. So that's it guys. I hope now budget won't be an issue for you to achieve that cinematic look. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned, stay creative.